Greg Melusen is a fifth grade teacher at Washington Elementary in Bergenfield, New Jersey. He has used Renaissance Accelerated Math in his classroom for over three years. Let's see how Mr. Melusen uses Accelerated Math for both grade level and targeted practice. I've always liked working in small groups because number one, you have the option to work with students one-on-one -on -one within that small group. Um, they're able to discuss with each other different ways of solving problems, uh, share different methods of solving problems, and because they're all basically within the same um, level, no one's really going ahead of somebody else. We're all kind of moving at the same pace. I work with each group uh, daily, so they do rotate to their, their different stations. Um, I see them for approximately 30 minutes, and the groups are based on start testing from the beginning of the year and throughout the year when they take start testing. Um, each time their groups may change. Sometimes I'll keep them in the same group based on knowing the student and how they will work with other students within that group. Um, so the students do change throughout the year, which is nice because they do get to work with, with other students rather than the same students throughout the school year. The purpose of the small group meetings is to see where my students are at. That's where they get their main instruction for whatever standards we're working on. We go over different methods for solving problems. The students get to share with each other different methods that they prefer um, or what works for them. So during that sharing process, you may have a student that didn't understand one way, but when they hear a student solved it a different way, it may work out for them and it ends up benefiting another student in the group. So if we're going yards to inches, right? Mm -hmm. DJ said we're going from larger to smaller, and we know when we go from larger to smaller for conversion, we do what? Divide. Multiply. <laughs> student doesn't understand something, they go to somebody else, how do I solve this, can you show me, can you explain it to me? So the discourse kind of happens naturally uh, within the groups where they're working independently. After receiving direct instruction in small groups, students split into pairs to practice skills together. Each student has a different set of accelerated math problems. Even though they are working in pairs, they solve unique problems and record their work in their own notebook. When students finish their practice assignments, Accelerated Math will automatically score each assignment and give them immediate feedback. Mr. Melusin expects students to use this feedback and help from their peers and other resources to correct any problems they missed. I'll notice if students maybe uh, are struggling on something, if an intervention pops up, I will meet with that student, we'll take a look at their work to see where they're having issues or where they're struggling. Okay, so if I'm starting at zero and ending at one whole, do you think that these fractions that they're giving you are put in order from least to greatest? Mm -hmm. No? Is it confusing you because your denominators are different? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look at our denominators and try and find equivalent fractions first. I think a lot of it goes back to giving them trust and having rapport with them and, and knowing that they're going to stay on task and, and stay focused because the students are all pretty much within the same level working together. They kind of feed off of each other. So just having that, that trust with them is, is a big part of it. 